Hello, Cancer. It's time for your reading for July of this current year. At least till the middle of it when I do the next stack of readings. So, let us begin. Ah, that just went all fucked. I hope you all are doing well, Cancers. I'm doing pretty well. This is, oh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be Thunderdome, but I'm going to lay it out differently. Um, cross watchers, you can always, like, switch stuff around if you need to. If this doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it, because it is just a card game. Ooh, you are ready for a new beginning in love. How romantic. That's nice. Um, ooh, you got two aces. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not good. That is not good, Cancer. That is not good, Cancer. I just want to pat your head gently. Must be like, aw. <laughs> Let's see. Um, ooh, what? Okay. I feel like you're ready for some new experience with love, but it's like based on something like monetary that isn't very grounded at all. In fact, it's rotten in the ground to its very core and, you know, betrayal. You know, like something's gonna happen. I'm not sure what that is. Some of the problem with this other person you're dealing with. Right? Um, yeah. It could be Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Or someone who's supposed to be a provider. But they're not. They're kind of a moocher. Or it could be someone coming to collect some sort of debt. Like you owe them. Um, because they feel like they deserve it. And probably, uh, you know. Not because it's actually necessary. Well, it could be necessary to them. But in reality, it's like... They're kind of being a control freak, like, I, hey, I deserve this. Um, wish fulfillment someone is bored of now. They may have the ace of wands. There's three aces for you. Two of them are not upright, Cancer. And this one's like, something's not going to start. The, uh, this, like, you're, I don't understand. Okay, you have this brand new love starting off, right? And then everything just goes to shit. And now you're sitting there with your King Kong monkey sword wielding dude. Just staring people down like, mm. like almost like you're being really um, aggressive with it, with the King of Swords. I don't know why, but it's like, it, it, like this entire scenario is going to make you aggressive. Cancers, do you know how to be aggressive? <laughs> well, you do. You do. Under that sweet kindly um, demeanor lies a beast not even I would try to fuck with because like you guys can be mean and you don't even know it. Like, the nicest people are always the meanest. I don't know why but it just happens that way. But let's look at your person. Maybe they're like doing something really wonky to put you in this situation because like I don't know why but it looks like this is really going bad. Like I, I don't know what this is on your side, Cancer, but, like, something's up. Don't go for the love offer. It's not a good idea. Um, this person has their back completely turned to this, just working on their own stuff. Huh. Like, that. I don't even think they know what's going on. Um, I think they're still not over some sort of heartbreak or whatever. Like, feeling like everything, like, they're still looking over some of their old investments, I feel like, and being like, mm hmm, I wish it would have worked out or whatever, and it's like, no, I gotta walk away from these cuts. But it looks like they might, no, they're, no, they're walking the other, well, I don't know, they could be walking your direction or the other way, I really can't tell with it upside down. Um, no, they're walking the other way. Uh, my 
lack of commitment, lack of like, I feel like follow through. Like between two people, between an authority figure and two other people. I feel like things just could not be worked out. So someone's just like, you know what, I'm just gonna do something somewhere else. I'll, I'll take control of my own environment. I'll make something of my own. Yeah, and then sit comfortably on my stone throne. There's the Empress and the Emperor. Almost like divine pairing, but they're both on the same side. You know, this person is taking drastic measures for a new beginning on their own. So that's probably why they aren't even noticing what you're doing. Because I really hope you're not trying to, like, do something to somebody who's not even minding their own business. Because, like, that Ten of Swords... Like, I keep looking at it with that Ace of Pentacles. It's just like, if you're about to start something new, don't do anything that will cause this sort of chain of events to happen. Because I'm not sure. I mean, that's what I'm reading, but it's like... Mm. And mind you, cross-watchers just switch or whatnot and all that jazz. Each side can be interchangeable if you wish. Let's see. I got... You're trying to manifest something. Okay. You're trying to make something happen. <laughs> what are you trying to make ha happen? Um, you're trying to make something... You're trying to create something because you're not satisfied with what's going on. Yeah, because you are, you're already unsatisfied with the wish you made earlier that you're bored with now. And it's like you want someone from the past or you're thinking about somebody from back in the day. You're a little shadow that like follows right I think you're missing a connection and you're getting your passion going that's my um booty call man prince of wands right there you might be trying to rush to this person to get some well you're about to start some okay cancer like i said this could be interchangeable right but like Y'all, I'm about to start something new. Please tell me you're not going to do booty call. Do not. I don't know if booty calls are ready. Like, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I don't know if this is a good idea. I mean, it doesn't have to be a relationship, but like... Or a love interest of the romantic sense, but like, still, like, booty, ma booty man is here. Okay, he's using his laser flame to laser flame the wand. Or whatever. Uh, so, like, yeah. Maybe you're coming in with an offer with Booty Man, and. But it's like. But whatever it is you're trying to offer. This is why I go outside. I'm sorry, baby. But yeah, like. You might be trying to make an offer, and it's a good offer in this, but I don't know if it's the Ace of Pentacles reverse, because, like, you know, that's not the good offer. Um, but it could also be reflective that, like, the Princess of Wands is right here reverse, and it's like, she doesn't... She's not very nice when she's Im impulsive in this way. It's like, action without thinking. It's like, it's being sneaky, saying things... Eight of Swords popped up for a second. Let's see. What is this person doing? Well, presently, with the Emperor right here, because he's looking forward, they're taking control of their environment and their actions. You know, kind of like establishing their own um, empire, which is what the Emperor does. And in the future, she, since she's looking that direction, it's like they want to sit comfortably on their throne being fruitful and enjoying what it is that like they've prospered from. Like they're taking the time to take action now in order to relax later. I, I like this person's kinda cool. I can see why you would go with them. Or if you're running towards this person, because it does seem like a very attractive person, but it's like, who is this person? 
Ah, someone with not a good interest in the home. Um, Ace of Pentacles reverse on their side too. It's like, um... Okay, let's say you two did try to offer something to each other, but then like after you did, it became very clear that you two had completely different interests in um what made you think you two would be good marriage material or relationship material it's like you had an idea of what you wanted in a mate they had an idea of what they wanted in a mate but but the way that they that you two kind of exchanged your pentacles was kind of like not what it seemed like not intentionally they, it was it was more like they saw themselves and or you guys saw yourselves in each other more than you did in yourselves and it just kind of like just in blend oh but they do have passion and they want to start something they definitely want to start something right here i think maybe you guys got off to the wrong start and had different assumptions of each other and you didn't know it until like way later, I think. Um, oh, they got the Ace of Cups reversed here. That's kind of okay. They have like three aces in a row. So it's kind of like. Okay, so she's staring off this Ace of Cup right here. And this is just being like, you know what? They're not coming back. They don't see Cancer that you do want to run up and you do want to take action. Rather impulsively take action. But I think it's like you say something that's like kind of on the trash pan to side. You know, just to start stuff. But at the same time, it's kind of like, uh, who are these people calling my phone? <laughs> Uh, let's see. It's, it, yeah, it's like they don't, it's like they've already given up on this whole, like, having a new beginning thing, whereas you are kind of looking at it, and you're kind of writing it in the dark. It's like you want to surprise them. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. No. Um... They feel like they didn't have a victory in this at all. Like, all it did was cause them nothing, but, like, people coming to try to take their wand. People just coming around to take turns to whack them with their sticks. Let's see. Left them really cold and bitter, like, not, like, ready to do battle with anybody. They were very defensive. And it, it was a really hard burden for them to start with. I feel like they would feel like they were dragging their feet more when it comes to dealing with you, though. And they're keeping their emotions in the dark for whatever reason. I feel like they still got love for you, Kenzer. I just feel like they don't trust you. Like, that, yeah, it, it's like, they got their feelings hurt, and they possibly feel like nothing this will lead anywhere, so they're looking for pretty much an escape route from all of this. Because I think it might be driving crazy. Okay, what'll happen if you guys approach each other? like feeling like letting somebody in that they shouldn't this is probably how this person's feeling like or you could be feeling like they're the enemy in your house but people are coming against a singular person in this that shit's coming to an end <laughs> 
Scorpio right there, definitely. Like, let's we got pretty much everybody out on the board anyway. Oh, Magician's out, definitely. Um, something's being manifested between, like, this death and having people come against you, or, like, having an enemy in your house somewhere, Cancer. Once again, that manifestation with the Magician, what is he doing? I wonder. What else comes next? Um, not be- it, What? Okay. Someone wants to manifest, but they're not making a decision. Uh, or they're trying to manifest something with their indecision. Like, maybe they can't decide and they're trying to find a way of, of deciding. You could be the one trying to decide something that you're having a hard time with. Uh, but there's some control here going on. Like, this person's trying to um, do whatever, and they do look at you. They are looking at you with your indecision. They're looking at you like, what do you want? Don't stand there looking at me. That's annoying. Like, if you want something, say something. You know, almost like that kind of thing. It's just like, I'm not getting off my throne for you. I'm, I'm doing shit. Like, <laughs> let me know what you want when you decide you got the balls to say it. That kind of thing, right? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, they're not going for it. And they're letting it be known they're not going for this. I think they got issues, and I think, like, I don't know, Cancer, it, it almost seems like they have things that they're trying to take care of. I feel like they're almost aware that it would be burdensome to possibly try to handle a lot of their issues as well as yours. It's like, they, like they're like they immediately aware that like both of you don't have very much to offer each other. And sure, there's a desire to do something, but at the same time, it's like the love really isn't there. I mean, you have love for them, but they don't have love for you, I feel like. Yeah, they're pretty comfortable, you know. What'll happen? Most likely. Ah, uh, there's Mookie Mid Moocher. <laughs> I feel like this person would feel like they were mooching off of you, Cancer. Like, you want to ride in and, and, you know, get on them and start something new. And I think this person is looking at it like, I don't know if I would be good for you. I feel like I would do some damage if I did. Or they could be coming in trying to get something from you, expecting something from you. Offering you little crumbs while they look good and leave you, like, not really having much of your own. And that could be... Uh, yeah, okay. You might be separating from this person. Or you're doing it yourself because you're just tired of, like... I don't know. Like, at least it's gonna end. This whole back and forth, I feel like, it's gonna end. It's like you guys kind of know you aren't compatible for each other, but you have so much love for them, and it's like they kind of, like... They kind of turned away and stopped loving you. I don't know, Cancer, but that's your reading. So thank you for watching the video. If you want a personal reading, my email is down below. I don't charge. I do take tips and donations. Like, share, subscribe if you want to. You guys have a good day. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.